Okay, ready? Five seconds before the performance. Places, everybody. Welcome to Theatre First with Alex First. Once you learn that Robbie Fairchild was a principal dancer at the New York City Ballet, you can understand why he glides so effortlessly across the stage in a stellar display as the centrepiece of an American in Paris. He's a wonderful talent, and he pairs that magnificently with acting and singing. Mind you, his leading lady, Leanne Cope, who was first artist at the Royal Ballet and who originated the role she plays here on Broadway and the West End, is glorious too. There's so much to like and admire about this lively and colourful love story set at the end of World War II. US Army Lieutenant Jerry Mulligan, Fairchild, is attracted to a woman, Lise de Son, Cope, that he sees on the streets of Paris just after the liberation. He deliberately misses his train and decides to stay on in the French capital and pursue his passion for painting. Mulligan chances upon a cafe where he's greeted by a fellow veteran, pianist and composer, Adam Hochberg, played by Jonathan Hickey, whose injuries have left him with a permanent limp. Hochberg soon introduces Mulligan to Henri Borel, Sam Ward, the son of wealthy French industrialists, when the latter enters the diner to rehearse the nightclub act that he's putting together with Hochberg. The Borrells, played by Anne Wood and David Whitney, especially Henri's mother, want him to follow in their footsteps, but Henri has dreams of making it big on Broadway. Circumstances see Mulligan unexpectedly bump into Dassin again, this time at ballet auditions for a prestigious company. That's also where American philanthropist Milo Davenport, Ashley Rubinach, takes more than a passing interest in Mulligan. Mulligan subsequently makes a romantic play for Dassin, but she is resistant. Little does Mulligan know that she has a backstory concerning the Holocaust and the Borrell family. Henri is her long-term boyfriend, while Hochberg mistakes politeness and charm for something more and also plays his hand. Musically, An American in Paris is a triumph for George and Ira Gershwin. Numbers like I Got Rhythm, As Wonderful, and They Can't Take That Away From Me continue to resonate and delight. The entire cast is poised and polished. They're equally at home with ballet, jazz and tap, all of which feature, with an onus on the former. Jonathan Hickey is gifted the best lines in the piece and delivers them wonderfully. His penchant for comedy is unmistakable. Sam Ward readily steps into the role of an uptight Frenchman carrying a family secret. Ashley Rubinach is a revelation as the gregarious and single-minded patron. Anne Wood makes an art form of standoffish and is juxtaposed perfectly with her on-stage husband, David Whitney. They're supported by a talented ensemble and orchestra Victoria. The direction and choreography by Christopher Wielden are exemplary. He makes the complex look simple and free-flowing. The staging is breathtaking. Often elaborate props channeling all things Parisian are wheeled in and out seamlessly. The ever-changing visual imagery from watercolours to sketches filled with spots of colour is equally creative and evocative. An American in Paris is a show that's romantic, comedic and dramatic. It delights and amuses, and it deserves the standing ovation it received on opening night. It's playing at the State Theatre Arts Centre Melbourne until the 23rd of April 2022. You've been listening to Theatre First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.